Good morning, of you may be watching. This time I'd like to show you how to use tabs. These little markers here in the uh, Microsoft Word program. You'll notice that I have leader dots and those leader dots run from the end of the information that has been entered in that area across to this tab that I've put on the ruler so that the left tab starts here and the way it works simply is this if I look at a blank file and look over on the far left of the ruler I see what is called a tab marker I can scroll through those tab markers by clicking on them there's a center tab there's a right tab a decimal tab etc. I want to use the left tab in this case and what I do I look and I see here that just below the ruler are the default tab markers they're like little marks that I see there when I click underneath a uh, area on the ruler we'll say at the number 8 on the ruler that puts a left tab there that means that when I press the tab key my insertion point zots across to the left tab. I'll undo that action because now what I'm going to show you how to do is to use the tabs to insert those leader dots that we saw back on the other file. So I'll just type a heading here name, tab, telephone I press enter and every time I press enter I create a new paragraph first bloke is Bill Smith and we'll tab and his telephone number is 98765432 when I press enter I'm taken down to the next uh, line down uh, Sue Smith her number is 7865 da 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 and one more, whoops, one more for luck when I press the enter key we'll say Harry Brown and his telephone number is 56789013. Now, I've created paragraphs every time I press the enter key. Now, what I want to do is to put those leader dots between the name and the telephone number. So, I will select the paragraphs by dragging through them, and then in the Home tab, I look for the paragraph group and I'm going to click the little uh, marker in the bottom right hand corner. When I click that marker I see that there is a tab down here called tabs. So I'm going to click on tabs and here it allows me to put in the leader dots. I see the tab stop position is at 8 centimeters. that's the marker there and uh, what I want to do now is to put the leader dots in, the dots, I could have dashes if I wanted or just a straight line like an underscore, but I want to put dots so I'm going to click there and then I click set and as soon as I click OK it puts the leader dots in. It's as simple as that, nothing difficult about it and what I can do while I'm here if I wanted just so it looks like the other file I'm going to uh, make the text red, bold it and I'll increase the font size a little bit just to um, uh, make it different from an appearance point of view. So to run through it again what I do I click the drop arrow here in the paragraph group I go to the tabs tab click in the type of leader that I want click set and OK and that will show me those leader dots. It's as easy as that. What I'm going to do uh, in the next uh, video is to show you uh, how to use the different tab markers over here. Uh, that will be in the next video and I know you'll find that very interesting because quite frankly not a lot of uh, people know how to use the tabs to get the best layout on their word screen. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe comment if you wish and we could uh, certainly use a thumbs up like. Thank you so much for watching.